good evening and welcome to the sports on prime with me Oreku Ampofu and we're still in the mode of the Africa Cup of Nations which is currently ongoing and today we found out the first team that would qualify or would be at the round of 16 stage and it's none other than our West African neighbors Nigeria who managed to get their second victory in as many matches and they did leave it late again as they won against Guinea by one goal to nil. It will be. Oh, it will be bang on target. Forces the save from Kone. And the Super Eagles have come alive here in Alexandria. One handed save from Ibrahim Kone. That was going in. Etebo. Cracking effort. Just gets it over the wall and punched away, double-handed by Ibrahim Kone. For Mikel Derestam. Simon with the corner! It's the breakthrough for the Super Eagles. For it. But they have got the goal. Ken put it in for Moses Simon. This time, Ibrahim Kone couldn't deal with it. And he's done. Won't have time to play much of a part here because it's all over. Nigeria are the first team to qualify for the round of 16 at the 2019 Total Africa Cup of Nations. Kenneth. Well, that was Nigeria and the Super Eagles indeed are flying high as things do stand in an Africa Cup of Nations. But Nigeria and Guinea are not in that group alone. They're also joined by newcomers Madagascar and Burundi in Group B. Let's check out how things do stand after two games now. And Nigeria on six points are safe and sound and would play in the round of 16. But it's all left to fight for between Madagascar, Guinea and Burundi. And Madagascar and Guinea on one point points but Guinea have played two games. Of course all hope is not lost uh, for these uh, teams down there because the best third place teams could find their way into the round of 16. Four best third place teams out of the six groups would be making it into the round of 16. So there's still some hope for both Guinea and Madagascar. But still in Group A, Uganda drew 1-1 with Zimbabwe earlier on today as uh, Zimbabwe's hopes of now qualifying to the next round uh, have narrowed slightly uh, but there's still hope for them. Yeah. That uh, went over the head of Matampi, the DRC goalkeeper. Let's see what his delivery is like tonight. Mia with the delivery into the penalty box field, and that's going to be uh, problematic as uh, we can see Uganda on the attack. The shot's coming in, oh, it's at the back of the net. They scored it, Okui. Okui of Simba SC has put Uganda ahead. And that was just a moment of pure brilliance. They stole the ball. Down the right flank, the delivery, the shot just pushed away by the goalkeeper took over. And who is the one happy man? And Sebastian the Sab. Let's have a look at this again. Running into trouble, they were. And then it was just picked up. Nice ball, a slick ball that was just spread out to the right hand side. The shot coming in from Lamala, uh, parried into the path of Okwe. Good shot as well. well. He couldn't get it away though, I'm afraid. And afterwards, that is just the simplest of finishes for Okwi. Darikwa not even following him, not chasing him, nothing. Well, the Uganda Cranes are absolutely ecstatic. And uh, that's uh, a great start for them. Tidied up there by Emmanuel Okwi and then Biliat just flicking the ball between the goalkeeper and the defender after a, a very fine cross there from Kururu.
Okay, sorry for that hitch and the audio there. But as I was saying, I was talking about Group A and how interesting things are shaping up. Remember, Group A has the host nation, Egypt, who currently are playing with DR Congo, and they lead by two goals to nil. And uh, we should be wrapping up the first half uh, just about now. And the uh, first goal was scored by Mohamed El Mohamedi uh, from a corner kick. And the second goal was scored by the Liverpool. Pullman, the man that everyone has been waiting for to score. Mohamed Salah has finally scored for Egypt and they look very, very good in Group A and could join Nigeria to be the second team in the round of 16 stage. Of course, this is still on the Africa Cup of Nations and we have to talk about the Black Stars. Now, they drew 2-2 yesterday against Benin and a lot of Ghanaians were, you know, agitated and saying that it's Benin. Even with 10 men, Ghana should have still found a way. But that's a point that Coach Kwesi Apia disagrees with. Let's hear what he had to say in the press conference. Yeah, um, I think um, it, uh, it was a really competitive game. Um, Along the line, you know, uh, some of our players, you know, lack concentration, and um, in the first half, you know, most of the passes were not accurate as we expected. But um, it's always difficult when you're playing with only ten men. You know, uh, the second half it was difficult for us because um, you had one man out, so. I, uh, I believe that you know it's a fair result, but you know I personally don't like criticizing referees. But uh, along the line, you know, we, we hope that we, we get fair officiating, you know, in all the games. I don't believe in underwriting any team in the tournament. Any team that has qualified means um, the team is really strong. Um, it's always difficult. We had a big respect for Benin, and then unfortunately we had one man out. It's, it always um, it changes your tactical play, and um, it's just unfortunate. But uh, I believe that Benin also you know, deserves you know, uh, a point. Those were the words of Black Stars coach uh, Kwesi Apia and he's saying that Benin also deserves something from that game uh, but let's now hear from man of the match Jordan Ayew who expects a much improved performance from the Black Stars in their next game against Cameroon. It makes feelings because um, I wanted to win this game and yeah um, I think uh, I wanted the three. We wanted the three points, and unfortunately, we didn't. We didn't manage to get it because uh, we were in difficulties. And after the red card, but fair play to to Benin, fair play to, to my teammates. And I think it was a good game for for the spectators. And yeah, that's what football is all about. Is uh, about making people 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 happy. And yeah, so I have mixed feelings. We have confidence in ourselves and. We know uh, what we're capable of. Football is is all uh, all about our winning. That was Jordan Ayew, who won Man of the Match and scored a goal in that match as well. Uh, but. Of course, Ghana would be playing Cameroon on Saturday and we're bringing you all the updates and exclusives from Egypt and you can get all these stories on my joy online for slash sports. Uh, but this has been the sports on Prime with me, Oreko Ampofo.